The miracle of medicine. We all think that doctors are able to do just about anything to fix our health ailments, but the reality is oftentimes doctors don't have the answers to every problem. That's what happened to one man, but he refused to take there's nothing we can do as an answer. Today, Eric Drew travels the country to tell his story about what he calls non-controversial treatment for leukemia, which has given him the gift of life again. Eric, it's so great to meet you. Thank you so much for coming in. It's such a pleasure, Lee. Thank you for having sure. me. Sure. In 2002, you were diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, also known as ALL. Correct. You were 35 years old at the time. Obviously, this was life-changing for you. Take us back to that moment in time. Life-changing. At that moment, it was really life-ending. I was so sick when I was diagnosed. I, I'd gone into a Red Cross Center to donate blood for kids with leukemia and then found out that I had leukemia myself. And at the time, I was so sick that without having immediate treatment, severe, heavy treatment, that mm -hmm. I would uh, probably not live out the week. And so, so they told you eventually really there's nothing that they could do and you said well I'm gonna research this I'm not gonna take this for an answer and you found out some more information about cord blood stem cell transplants That's what's right. the difference well uh, basically cord blood stem cells as opposed to say bone marrow it's just a different source of stem cells mm -hmm. and after doing some research the doctors found out that I didn't have a match for for bone marrow I didn't have any full siblings and therefore they said sorry there isn't anything else we, we can do and so I took it upon myself to do some research it was finally some European doctors that informed me about the advances being made with other sources of stem cells, mm -hmm. non-controversial sources of stem cells, namely cord blood, and led me toward the treatment that saved my life. So you're, uh, you're a miracle, can we say that? The procedure is a miracle. Uh -huh. my, well, me being here is a miracle, absolutely. So h how frustrating is it for you to know that there are other people in your situation who don't have the knowledge that you were seeking and they maybe are sitting at home thinking there isn't anything they can it's do. It's so hard for me to even sleep at nightly, knowing that, that there are thousands of people in this country, probably even here in Wisconsin right now, that are being sent home and, and suffering and dying with treatable diseases, uh, all different types of blood cancers, leukemias. Uh, it's just there's amazing therapies out there. And um, there's no one physician that that is, they're only human. They can't know about all these treatments. So I just, I want to empower patients to do the research themselves, to look into this, to contact me at my foundation and, and find these treatments that are being elusive. And since everything happened with you, you established a foundation, as you mentioned, the Eric Drew Foundation. That's right. How is that going to help people and what is the mission? You said you want to help people. Talk about this. Well, the foundation's mission really is that uh, we, we want to help patients and families form a strategy to navigate the complex medical system, uh, raise money for their, their own treatments if necessary, and to find elusive treatments that are not being offered to them, like, like the cord blood stem cell transplant that saved my life. You believe that is the treatment of the future? I think it is the treatment of the future for so many things. They are in clinical trials right now. Uh, treating diabetes, regenerating heart tissue. Now, if they can regenerate heart tissue, then 50% of the people in this country will have the need for using cord blood stem cells that have been banked for their family. Well, Eric, we really appreciate your coming in, and I think the message here is don't take no for an answer. Never. There's always hope. You didn't, and you're sitting here today with a, a good bill of health. Thank you so much. Awesome. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming in, and we wish you the best of luck on your journeys. I know you only had a few days in Wisconsin, and we appreciate right. you stopping in. I'll be back. All right. Sounds good. Thank you.